Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? <clears throat> well, Tuesday. Docs told me I had to stay home the next day. Anyway, wanted to make a video. Got a few things to tell you guys. A couple cars to show you. Ooh, sweet. Threw four more up on the sticker drawing. All primo. And, um, anyway, um, We'll see what happens with all my stuff yesterday. Esophagus problems. Six on the scale of one to ten. It's getting tested. We'll see what happens. Um, should be all right. Still got to have the pancreas checked and the liver. But hey, at least I didn't find any stomach cancer or any e. colon. They removed some things. Oh my god, some growths and polyps and stuff. But um. That's the good thing, man, is once they remove that stuff before it, you know, turns into cancer, that's, it's a big lifesaver. I mean, like, what is it they say? I mean, I was reading up there, 90%, 90% of colon cancers can be prevented if caught early and whacked off before they, so it's a good thing to have that stuff checked. And, um, of course, you know, I blew it off like three years late. I'm supposed to go every five. He was giving me shit about that. Make sure you're here in five years. I'm high risk. I mean, everything on there. Just, you know, just how it is. But, um, so, but yeah, I got esophagus problems may be what's causing a lot of my stuff. But, you know, hey, he almost, I, almost, I was high risk for Barrett's esophagus anyway. And, oh, shoot. 10 years ago, he gave me some medicine for it, and I took it for a couple years, got better, and quit taking it. So, he's like, well, there you go. <laughs> so, I'm back on that. Anyway, um, we'll see how it goes. You know, hey, all you can do is try. And uh, anyway, got some cool things and some other things. Um, you guys are just too cool. I, I think i got to have some of the best subs, guys. And I know you guys watch a lot of other people, and that's cool. I mean, um, but you guys are just so cool. It's unbelievable. Um, just the kind of guys I like. You don't get mad when I talk shit, and I don't get mad when you say something. I mean, but also, you're just so friendly and everything. Um, here, here's a prime example. Mr. Her Mr. Herrera, first place. You saw the last drawings on... Um, on these I just did the last drawings on these okay mr. Herrera got first place uh, mr. Spahar got second place mr. Osgood got third place and mr. Proust got fourth place all right well mr. Herrera said he wants to give his fourth place to mr. Pru or I'm sorry his first place to mr. Proust and take Mr. Proust fourth place, which means Mr. Proust gets first picked, and Mr. Herrera is going to take whatever's left. Now I admit they're all nice castings, but I don't. And and he may have a preference, but he gave up that preference to give Mr. Proust um the first place, and it's only fair. I appreciate how you guys stay around and you listen to me and um. You know, you give me time to do stuff that I'm not prepared for because I don't ever edit. And um, but I want to go find Mr. Herrera's comment um, and read it. And all so many of you guys do this. I mean, Mr. Spahar's done it. Mary Ann's done it. Um, you know, Jessica Rabbit, and uh, just so many of you. Oz, I mean, all so many of you. There it is. Uh, Mr. Herrera, congrats to all the winners. I would like to switch places with Mr. Proust and thank him for his generosity to the diecast community on Mr. Hewitt's channel. Right on, brother. Um, oh, awesome. I didn't notice Mr. Uh, Proust responded to him. Yes, Mr. Uh, Herrera, I would gladly give you fourth place. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um so anyway, um, 
very very nice and as we all know mr uh Pruce is very generous so anyway obviously i have the choices now mr Pruce picked the red porsche obviously mr spahar picked the red porsche mr osgood said he'd like the red porsche or the mercedes so it looks like you get the mercedes mr osgood and mr herrera last place choice of his own gets the coke and you know what? You can't go wrong. This is an, I would take any of these, any of them. Now, granted, Mr. Pruce already has this, but um, I don't know if Mr. Herrera does or not, but it is a beauty, buddy. And uh, keep an eye out because I'm going to have another one of these coming up in a drawing sooner or later. And, uh, but anyway, so there's, there's who got all those. So, Congratulations and thanks for the generosity to everybody. You know that y'all are cool. Now there's more. There's even more. As you guys seen on the uh, Mustangs I gave away. Okay? Or, you know, in the drawing. Many Stangs got first place. De Leon got second. And Rat Black got third. Well, Many Stangs said sent me a private text and said to get the sheet out and draw another name and preferably a name that hasn't won on these two drawings we just did so we're gonna pull that up real quick Dang, I opened it already, and I'll be darned if I still don't. Oh, I know why, because I closed, because I closed it. I closed the light. So anyway, because of that, we're going to pull another number out and see who gets this other RLC. Thanks to Mini Stangs. Um, I guess he just felt like being uh, generous as well. So like I said, you guys are just too cool. Anyway, there it is. Ads just keep coming up, man. Let me try to dim this light down. <sighs> These ads. All right, let's spin. Twenty-five, Mister Twenty-five or Twenty-five is Mister Kevin Kennedy. So, new first. New first place for the Mustang is Mr. Kevin Kennedy. I think I haven't seen a comment from him where he said, I just barely missed it. Or Steve Hansen, Steve Hansen barely missed it too. I'm gonna write new first place. Number 25, Kevin Kennedy. Flick that back inside, flipped over, new place winner, new first place winner, Kevin Kennedy. And that is thanks to Steve, many stangs. Um, now how cool is that? You guys are, like I said, you guys are some of the coolest guys, 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 bros, dudes, whatever. I don't know. However you want to say it. And uh, so that's how that's going to go. And I got some more cars. Um, I got a couple new ones in I had ordered, and I ordered a couple extra. I'm going to open them up, and we'll check them out. I kind of like to do them on my thing up there, but... I have these loaded to the website now. The, the RLC Impala sold out, oh my God, hour, two hours, something like that. So I'll do that drawing when I can. But I got all these up there again. Look at all these beauties. 
This uh, mobile RX-7, oh man, she is so beautiful. I got the STP real licensed. This is Tarmac licensed, officially licensed by Ferrari. Ferrari Red. She is a beauty too. Um, all of them. But and then I got another NO64 of the Ferrari Pilot and this beauty. Oh my god. I can't wait to get I got this in 118 scale on pre-order. I can't wait for that thing to arrive. It's going right in there. But uh, these are up now. Um, it's the Dodge Charger sticker. Anybody's interested. And I kind of, I guess I'll pull these out, but I may make another video a little later on and put it on my turntable with my phone on my camera to show it a little better. Because um, it does such a better job at showing off how nice they are and so on. <clears throat> but before I open these real quick, if you guys will hang out for a second, I wanted to say something. <laughs> you know I always do. Anyway, I keep seeing lately, I don't know what's going on, but I keep seeing a bunch of videos popping up about mainly the diecast community and how, I guess we're a bunch of savages and just sorry ass people and shit. And I don't know, man. I don't know where these guys are hanging out, but I, you guys are great to me. I mean, I... I don't know. There's so many different opinions and it's like there's so many guys out there that are like diecast deputies or something. It's like like there's a reason or a rhyme to why we do this. We have our collections. We collect for the reason we like to collect, if you ask me. I don't care what you have. I like seeing it. I watch a lot of videos. I like seeing what I see or maybe something I may, oh, hey, I'd like to have that. Or, hey, I got a couple of those. Or, or you know, sometimes, yeah, I didn't really like that. I had to pass on that. Because we all have our own taste. Nothing wrong with that at all. But it's I'm seeing more and more videos of guys that act like we're supposed to all have the same opinion or something. I mean, it's funny because they're, they're actually bitching about other people they say are bitching. And it's like, what? I don't, my, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, who cares, man? Do what you want to do. Collect what you want. If you don't want to show your stuff, don't show your stuff. If you think it's some kind of secret hand you're hiding over there and you got a special car and you don't want nobody to know, well, good for you, man. Good for you. Nobody cares, I promise you. And, you know, and, and a lot of us show our collections. A lot of, I got, I got cars I haven't shown. I collected cars for me. I never had a YouTube channel when I made this table. When I, I used to collect 124, I didn't collect Hot Wheels. They were always petty to me. They're just, they're not that special. And they're not. I've grown away from them again. I don't think I'm going to hardly keep any of them. Um, and the closest thing would be my G machines here. That was, that's a Hot Wheel. That's if I recall, yeah, Hot Wheels, I'm almost positive, made G machines. That was the closest I came to getting a Hot Wheel. Those were awesome cars to me. They're a little bigger than 164. But, but those I would collect back when I collected my 124s. Never had a YouTube channel, never even thought about it. This is back in, oh shoot, 2005. And, um, but I never had any, I just liked the cool cars. But, but never the Hot Wheels. They were always too basic and just blah for me. And, um, but then I, I, like I told you guys before, I started grabbing some when I started collecting them for my grandson. I would see some and be like, hey, that looks pretty cool for a dollar. I admit there's still some I may grab every now and then, but they just don't, they're just not, they take up too much space. They're not all that. And I have tons of Matchbox the same way. And I, like I said, most of them are probably going to be gone. I'm going to stick back to what I like, the premium cars, and it, it solves so many problems anyway. It's what I like. They're, they're a lot better looking car. I mean, these cars are so much better looking. And uh, I'll go ahead and open one while I'm talking. And um, they're just more for your money. And, and honestly, people, you know, there's a lot of worry about kids in car, these cars. There's so many kids don't even give a shit about these cars. They really don't. They don't, man. They don't. There's not a whole lot of kids that really care. I think my grandson's even gotten to where he don't care about these Hot Wheels anymore. They just, they don't care. There's too many other things they do these days. Video games and stuff. But the Hot Wheel industry basically is adults that are 
doing whatever with that. But um, yeah, this thing is just oh, this tarmac um, Supra. But but a lot of you know there's a lot of them, and they they're just complaining about everybody else, bitching about this, bitching about that. And to me, it's just like who cares, man? You you can collect what you want to collect. If I know I've told you a long time ago about scalpers and everything else. Of course we don't like them, but that's because we're not the ones getting the cars. I honestly don't believe there's any of us that would stand here and lie to my face. I'm not going to lie to you. If I worked at Target, I'm going to or 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 Walmart. I'm getting those boulevards that I that I want to collect. Okay? Now I'm not saying I'm going to jump on there and sell them online cuz I don't sell shit online like that. But I'm going to take advantage of my opportunity and get those cars because I can. I don't believe there's any one of you out there that wouldn't do the same thing. So crying about somebody else doing it is just, is just being a baby in my mind. I mean, what are you going to You Don't act like you wouldn't do the same damn thing. And so, but now as far as scalping, and like I said about that, if nobody would buy it, they wouldn't do it. Terrible neighborhoods have nice families in them, believe it or not. Some of, There's some nice families in there. And they hate that crack house on the corner. But it wouldn't be there if people weren't buying crack from them in their neighborhood. Possibly some of their own children. That's why the crack house is there. If it wasn't there, they wouldn't be... If they weren't buying it, they wouldn't be there. It's the same thing. If You're not going to stop these people from doing that to the Hot Wheels. So it's it's just what it is you know and i don't think they're that impressive anyway they're not worth all the hype and the only reason that it's happening is because people are selling them online for crazy amounts and why don't buy them i mean if you want to buy them buy them but i i'm just saying who cares man who cares buy what you want to buy do what you want to do show what you want to show you know, there's another thing. There's another video I seen go around about Sean Nichols or Sean Nicholas or whatever. He done the phone call thing where he called in and everybody's pissed about him. But you're running the hobby. Well, look, guys, let's just be honest, man. What he, I don't watch the guy. Okay, I don't. I don't. I he he. There's other reasons why. It doesn't matter. But um, but look, to be honest. If he helped anybody there, it would be normal people that are trying to figure out how to get a, a chance on these cars. And it probably won't work for you. Because there's already so many stores that are sick of that shit. And you call them and they ain't going to tell you nothing. They ain't going to say, yeah, that thing will be here tomorrow at 10.15. Come on down. I'll hold it for you. You don't believe me? Give it a shot. Any of you guys bitching about it, go try it. None of these stores are going to tell you. Okay? None of them. I'm not even sure the video he posted is legit. He may know the people at that store and set that whole thing up. But it doesn't matter. Because here's the thing. People that are scalping and have access to them stores are already doing that shit anyway. So the only people he really gave away a secret to is the normal guy that might not have thought you know anything about it. But it doesn't matter, like I said, because try it. They're not going to tell you. Call them and ask them. They'll say, yeah, we, we stock shelves Wednesdays, Thursday, or whatever. They ain't going to tell you, yeah, at 11.15 this morning, we're going to put a brand new batch of boulevards on the shelf. It's exactly what you're looking for. Come on down. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. It's not. If you don't believe me, go try it. So that's the thing. Now, the only way this shit happens is you got an inside guy, okay, or you work there, or some, or you're paying somebody. So he didn't let nothing out of the bag. So getting all upset about him and saying he's ruining the hobby just really ain't true. Because that shit's already been done. He, he, he's not do, telling you anything everybody, that the other people doing it don't already know. And there are people that pay people there. I mean, and that's another thing. Let's be honest about that. Any one of you, your sister's working there, your uncle, your brother. Anybody in your damn family works at Walmart and says, hey, they just got a new batch of boulevards in. Are you telling me you're not going to say, hey, sis, would you get the Savoys out of there for me? Would you get that Plymouth Savoy out of there? You ain't going to, don't lie to me. You know damn well you're going to do it. So why are you going to cry about the other people that have the access we don't have? Now, I could sacrifice my high paying job, go get me a shitty job at Walmart so just so I can guarantee myself them boulevards. How stupid would that be? Huh? So like I said, it's it's really just baby talk. It's really, and then, so you, do you see what I'm saying? So it isn't like he he's done anything by telling anybody that. Now, I'm not sticking up for the guy. I don't watch him. 
Um, looks like this one comes with some Marlboro decals. Oh, sweet. Look at that. I guess maybe you... I don't know what you do with them. Crazy. They just fell out the bottom. Looks like they come with it. And, of course, it's numbered. Mine turned out to be 1347. No, I don't really care. But, yeah, we'll check this beauty out. But, yeah, so he didn't really do anything there. I mean... People are already doing that and scamming that and, and so on and so on. So it's really just, it's just the way it is, man. And, but if you want to get away from that, if you're, and, and I never was one of those guys that gave a shit about the super or the treasure hunt anyway. I wanted the car I liked. I just liked certain cars. Now, yes, I do collect the boulevards. So I'm on, on a thing where I want to get all the boulevards. But with all these premiums I'm back into collecting, I don't even know that I'm going to care a whole lot about those too much more in the future or other other things like that. Because it just, but, but it is broke down to, I am down to just transports, Target 2 packs, and boulevards. Don't care about all the other stuff. And, um, and like I said, it's just, it's just, you just got to make your own decisions and do what you want. But none of this is like regulated by the diecast deputy forum of the United States of America. You guys just do what you want, man. It doesn't matter what all these other guys are saying. Well, you're really putting a kink in the hobby. Shit should go like this. No, 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 it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It goes the way it is. And I mean, there's just so many angles on it. And I'm only saying something because it's like everybody's on this page and these diecast channels. And it's like, where did this come from? And I'm not going to say the names of a few channels I've seen, but they just constantly cry about other people. And it's like, what's the deal, man? Just go get your damn cars, show them or don't show them, and, and, and let it go. Why do you want to whine about everybody? I mean, it's just unbelievable. And... um but that's what made me so appreciative when I thought about it. Because I read some of their comments and there's nothing but, yeah, I hate it. I go to the stores and I want to do I, It's like, dude, you probably shouldn't even collect cars if it means that much to you that you're going to get violent over some stupid shit. And so I, it, my, it makes me think back to, oh my God, man. I am so lucky to have the coolest fucking subs that that no just collect the cars be cool about it be glad you got them we help each other get these things gave away and out to everybody just it, i mean it, it's just so weird but i wanted to express that because honestly i don't care about sean nichols or whatever his damn name is i don't watch him but he didn't expose anything that all the scammers don't already know and that shit ain't gonna work so anybody, you know, making a big deal out of what he said is just, I don't know, looking for content or what? Because he, you can't, ain't going to work. Call your own store and see if that shit will work. Hey, yeah, I'm calling to see when you're going to get the newest cases of Hot Wheels. They ain't going to tell you shit. I mean, so, so it doesn't matter, you know. And so anyway, there's that. And then, um, you know, just all... Just the whole, to the Hot Wheels industry is toxic. All these people are toxic. Well, who the hell are you hanging out with, man? Maybe you need to get a different uh, group of people on your channel or something or, or quit dealing with the people you're dealing with because, oh my God, man, I don't have that problem here. I got all my subs are so, look at, like I said, they just give shit to each other. Ain't no, hey, well, if you tell Mr. Tell Mr. Mr. Herrera and say, tell Mr. Pruce if he'll give me this, I'll give him that. None of my subs ever say that. They're just like, yeah, give that to him. Give that to him. But, but give that to him. I mean, that, that's, it's so, it's such a, so like I said, I don't know where these guys are hanging out. And I don't know why these things are popping up in my feed. Because I don't watch those kind of channels. I watch other shit that's just kind of, you know, showing what's going on and, like you, you, maybe your thumbnail showed a car and I was like, Hey, I got to check that out, you know, or something. But, um, I don't, I don't know why these things, and let, sometimes I think if you just click on one of them, cause you're interested in what this clown's talking about, the toxicity in the Hot Wheels community. What is he talking about? Let me check that out. Oh, here we go again. Some more of us are pieces of shit. We're complete losers. Where, you know, and you're, I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm getting to leave this guy. And next thing you know, maybe that's all it takes for the algorithm to say, hey, he wants to see more of this. And it just starts bombarding me with everybody talking about the toxicity in the Hot Wheels community. 
Well, I probably should name change my name because it's called Hewitt's Hot Wheels, but I'm not really into Hot Wheels. I never really have been totally just Hot Wheels, but I'm more, I was more customs and I need to get back to my customs, but I'll still be doing these premiums because this is what, this is what I like is premiums. It's what I've always liked and I just drifted away from them. But anyway, well, now that I said all that, yeah, guys, just screw all that. Nobody's the die cast deputy. Nobody's the sheriff of the shit show and the, the, you know, the Hot Wheels industry. Just do what you want. Collect what you want. If you want to go take all 15 Batmobiles, take the damn things. I don't care. It don't matter to me. If I didn't get them, that's all that matters is I didn't get them. I mean, it doesn't really matter, man. So, and scalpers, we're never going to like them. We're never going to stop them. People going to buy it? Well, that's why they're going to do it. Just, it is what it is, man. Anyway, look at that. I'm going to try to put this on my, uh, turntable and get you guys a better look at it but she is a beauty because this this tablet just when i get a new tablet i'm gonna see if i can't get me a 4k 2160p because uh this just doesn't do the justice but yeah and these are numbered i put them on the site um let's see i put i put this first place and again, guys, you can pick. All you got to do is the majority of people that buy stickers say, yeah, I'd like to pick. And you can pick. And then I put uh, the, this awesome baby here as second place. And these are all expensive. I mean, these are nice cars, guys. They're not pieces of crap. And I put that as second. And then I put the uh, this one. And I got four on there this time. And I got this one as uh, um, third. And this Ferrari we'll check out in a minute as fourth. And uh, but like I said, you know, it's it's always up to you guys. If you if enough of you say pick, we'll pick. If um nobody says anything, then I just leave them in the order I have them listed. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do one a little later and show these again on my other camera because oh my gosh, man, they are nice. And like I said, I'm select on tarmac. I don't just get all tarmac because you know, I don't know. It, it's easy to do the same thing as with Hot Wheels. Oh, I got to have that one because it's, and I don't want to do that. I should, I didn't want to do it with Hot Wheels. And that's how I got so many of them that I got to, you know, I'm going to end up having to, oh, hell, I've been giving them away left and right. But yeah, this one comes with these stickers, these decals, Marlboro. I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. You can't put them on there nowhere. They don't fit. I mean, I guess there's a couple spots you could put them on there if you wanted to. But yeah, that came with that. I'll probably just keep those, put them with my decals up there for something else. And uh, then we'll check out this Ferrari and uh, go from there. So yeah, guys, I, I just wanted to go touch on all that because it doesn't matter. Just like your hobby, you know. Some people don't want to show their cars because they don't want you to see what they have. Well, then don't show your shit. Who cares? I don't care what you have, man. And uh, all I want is what I can find, what I like. And that's why I never cared about supers or any of that. Because, well, no, I mean, obviously, if certain cars I like, like there's a Silverado out now, I guess, is a super. I wouldn't mind having that. But again, it's a basic Hot Wheel, and I just, they're just highly overrated and it's just mainly because they're a dollar <laughs> well these aren't you aren't going to find too many people scalping this kind of shit you know why because they already aren't cheap enough you, you know they're, they're, they're scalping hot wheels because you get them for a dollar and so many people are like oh i gotta have that i gotta have hell yeah i'll give you 30 bucks for it well you just gave that guy a 300 percent markup or no more than that more than that three what is that that'd be like a 300 3,000 percent markup. I mean, holy crap. I mean, three dollars would be 300. I mean, you just, it's, it's, that's why. When you start adding up that kind of money, that's why. These, you're not going to get, you're lucky to buy one of these. These fluctuate on websites 20 to 28 dollars. You're not going to get, I'm going to buy that and I'm going to sell it for 50 bucks. Nobody wants that shit. So, you know, that's another benefit of having these awesome ones. But anyway, 
They're also nicer. Again, no, no decals with this one, but there are, they seem to be numbered. 18, 15. <clears throat> like I said, I don't care. I don't ever take the car off, so I don't know if, if there's a, you know, a number under the car that matches that or not. I don't know. Other than that, I, you could put that sticker with anything and say, yeah, this is number blah, 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 and it's really not. So I don't know how much that matters any damn way. But yeah, look at that STP. You look underneath there, you can see the engine inside. I mean, there's several different versions of this. There's the Monster. There's the... Uh, well, I gotta get rid of it. I hate these scam likely calls. Um, there's several. A Red Bull. Um, I didn't order them. I thought I've thought about collecting them, but I don't know. Oops, excuse me. There's certain ones I'm just real picky about. But uh, almost all these tarmacs have that little fragile antenna on top that you got to be careful with. But yeah, it's the STP. I like how it's got the little STP. So yeah, see, I'm going to have to put these on my turn today. This camera just doesn't show the beauty of them. I mean, in the wheels, they're like depth. You can, you can see through the wheel, and there is a disc behind it. Because that's another thing I, I don't like is uh, the wheel that's just a glob of plastic with lines in it to make it look like it's got this and got that it's like yeah it's a little cheap man i like them a little more detailed so yeah it's a beauty yeah i'll try to make a little short video later on and put these up on the turntable and uh you know like i said the mirrors you know you can kind of see the mirrors they hang out they actually got mirrors in them i mean really nice looking casting but yeah, just take yourself and trade to these. You won't have that problem. <clears throat> you won't have to worry about it. And because nobody's going to really be able to scout these. Now, I admit, there's some that, you know, are more popular than others. And they do go up in price. But again, you know, some of these guys say, it's not, it's not about how much this car cost me. And then they'll turn around and say how much, oh, that car's worth this and this and this. Look, you know, it, it's all good. It, it is, it, it's about if you want to keep it. Now, if your car goes up in value, great. You know, if it don't, who gives a sh I don't care. I liked the car. I mean, I don't remember what this was. $24. $24. $24. $24. If it goes down to seven bucks, I don't care. I still wanted it. I got it. So doesn't matter. It goes up to 50 bucks. So what? So that's where you're at on those things. But yeah, you won't have that big thing happening with these. Now, yeah, they do take the chases. And like I said, I was so lucky with Diecast Model Wholesale. I mean, he sent me two chase when I bought this right here. I bought that NO64 Ferrari right there. And I bought two chrome in 064 um castings i wanted the chrome one and i they were both chase models and uh he randomly throws them in there i i, I think random i don't know how I, but i can't see why it would i don't know why he would okay i guess like hey let's give this guy a chase like he knew he gave me a chase but why would he give me two you know so i must have looked out and randomly got two chase cars and um because, I mean, I didn't open them, but Mr. Proust said he opened his and it was a chase. I mean, so I don't, when he sent a picture, I mean, I mean, if the only way that wouldn't be true is if he was flat lying to me and he already had the chase. And he said, look, you sent me the chase. Well, why would Mr. Proust do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, all I can think is we both, they were two chases in that box. And um, which... Like I said, I don't think he would just automatically say, I could see, okay, my point is, I could see Diecast Model Wholesale says, hey, let's give this guy a chase. He just bought an expensive car. But I don't even can't see him saying, let's give him two chase pieces. See what I mean? So that leans me more to he randomly just throws these in a box. And if you get a chase, you get a chase. Well, then how I, I luckily got two chases? That, it's just crazy. But that's not happening in a lot of these other websites. That particular chase is $200 almost everywhere you find it. 
And um, I have did see some on eBay for 150, but almost any website selling that chase it's 200 bucks. And um, I don't think that car's worth 200 bucks. I would never buy it for 200 bucks. I'd never buy it for 100 bucks. But you have people that will. Therefore, ta da! Ta da! So, anyway, um, I just want to get all that handled and mention those things because it is, I don't know, maybe you guys have seen the same videos I have and I don't know what these guys are talking about and crying about, but you can't ruin a hobby if you don't, I mean, the, the, the shit that happens is just happening. And, it, and, and Sean Nichols didn't give shit away. People are already doing that with money or people inside because just calling somebody... is it can just ring um because just calling the store and asking them i don't believe it's gonna work out for you but hey go ahead and give it a shot if they tell you then comment well i just called them they told me to come down there at 8 35 and i can have the brand new boulevard set yeah bullshit <laughs> not unless you know somebody and hey again like i said there ain't a damn one of you gonna convince me that if you didn't know somebody there, your sister or somebody that would give you the inside scoop on that Plymouth Savoy or any of those sweet cars when they arrived, that you wouldn't say, yes, yeah, sis, get that for me, please. You're damn right you would. So, you know, and it's what it is, man. So, anyway, um, I'm going to let you guys go, hopefully for sure this time. But um, I just wanted to get that done, let you know how cool everybody was. <clears throat> Mr. Herrera swapped with Mr. Pruse. <clears throat> That's still a sweet car, Mr. Herrera. Thank you. I like it. And um, Steve moved his on. Had me pick another winner, which Kevin Kennedy scored. So look at there, buddy. You scored anyway. And uh, I will. I got some cars to arrange. Like I said, I got a couple more sticker drawings going, guys. But I got a couple cars I'm pushing to the side because I'm going to give them away in the comments. And uh, I always try to get enough to have extra to give away for free. Because I know a lot of you guys uh, don't play the sticker drawings, you know, can't afford to, don't want to, um, don't have good luck, or whatever your reason. But you still watch the channel. And I want you guys to still have opportunity to get some of these cool cars. So I still try to grab an extra one of, of cool cars here and there. And um, so I can give them away. So yeah, just watch out for that because there'll be a video where I say leave comments. And uh, sometimes I may just get to where I just pull up a video and say, looky here guys, I don't know who commented in this last video, but one of you is about to win a car. I may start doing that. Just so I don't end up with all those out of the blues because that does happen. I notice a lot of people just, all of a sudden I'll get a comment from somebody I never got before. And I'm wondering, is it because I said I'm going to give away a car? But then again, here I am going on again. I know how it goes because a lot of us watch a lot of channels and don't necessarily leave a comment. And so a lot of times they'll say that. I watch a channel all the time, but I don't always comment. And and I know that could be very true. It probably is. Because I do the same thing a lot of times. Sometimes I'll get it in a comment. Sometimes I don't get it in a comment. So no big deal. But yeah, keep an eye out because there will be a couple of those coming up. And they're cool castings. None of them's cheapos. They're all premiums like this. Um, and, uh, we'll get that done. So, um, yeah, I think that wraps it up and hopefully, uh, everything else goes good with my test results and I stay in the game a little longer, but it's good to get a lot of that worry out of my mind and off my chest and figure out what's doing that. And, and it, and he's right about the esophagus doing that because even though i didn't notice it was messing with me in the middle of the night he said it was i mean it scarred up like he would i'd show you pictures but you guys would be like oh my god dude how are you alive <laughs> and uh but um i guess it's messing with me in the middle of the night and i told you guys about that pain thing you get to where you just don't even notice things like that it it becomes a mild discomfort and uh he he was like how is that not i don't understand how that's not being a problem and I was like, well, maybe it is. Maybe that's what I'm feeling that makes me take my Lanta or something. And um, and uh, and he said, well, that 
most this is causing a lot of them problems bloatness and then because it causes me to toss and turn it can make me tired throughout the day so i can get fatigue cancer can cause fatigue but he doesn't think so he does he's checking it out and uh and so you know like you said lack of sleep day after day after day from problems like this you don't even know you're having will wear you out and cause massive fatigue and then you're working all this overtime of course it's going to make it worse so hopefully you know that's what it is and uh maybe i got a lot more time to go but you know whatever we'll find out so anyway guys there you go i'm going to try to get a video up on my other phone because you got to see these cars guys they they are so nice looking when you can just see them and uh again yeah i grabbed more i grabbed another one of these because that baby was nice steve got it and he ended up picking it yeah once he opened it he's like you're right that thing is a beauty it is man uh fern c is one that tipped me off to it i passed on it i was like eh, it's not quite nice enough and then he sent me some real nice pictures on his phone and i was like dang that baby is nice so i uh ordered one and or two and i was like golly that thing is sweet so anyway there you go guys let me get out of here get some things done i'm supposed to take it easy today and chill and uh so we'll see what happens peace outro